Okay, let me ask you, have you ever felt confused when someone says personal branding? Like what is personal branding? How do you develop your personal brand? How do you market it? Especially if you don't really understand what it is. Don't worry, I've got you covered. That's what we're chatting about in today's episode. Hey, I'm Angela Doyon, and this is The Creative Marketing Show, the podcast for ambitious women in business looking to cut the BS, stop dancing for likes, and learn to create honest and genuine marketing strategies that don't cause burnout and overwhelm. Think of me as one of your friends that's here to support you and cheer you on while keeping you up to date with all the latest marketing trends and inspired actions you can start to implement into your business. Let's dive into a new episode. Hey everyone, welcome back to Creative Marketing Show. I'm so happy you're here. If this is one of your first episodes, thank you so much. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I love when there's new listeners. And if you are a new listener, you're welcome to send me a DM and let me know what you think of the show. I'm on Instagram at Angela.S.Doyon. Otherwise, if you have been tuning in for a while and you're back, a big thank you because your loyalty means so much to me. I really love sharing these episodes each and every week, especially when I get the feedback that people are resonating or it helped them solve a problem. So that's really, really rewarding because that's exactly why I got into podcasting. So thank you for letting me support you in your goals and your business. And with today's episode, I thought it would be helpful to chat about personal branding. Now there can be some confusion around it. And so I'm hoping that this will clearly explain it, but also help you really dive in and look at your own personal brand and how you're showing up on social media, your web presence, even in person and how you're serving your clients and your audience. So to start, let's first understand what personal branding truly means. And spoiler alert, it is not your logo or your fonts or your color palette. That's all just the fun stuff, right? That's visual components, but your personal brand is basically what people are saying about you behind your back. No, I'm just kidding. It's basically what they're saying about you when you're not around, when someone is describing, oh, Cheryl, oh my gosh, she is incredible. She is talented. She helped me solve X, Y, Z. She made me feel really comfortable. She was very honest and she was very empathetic to what I was looking for. She's a really great listener. So, you know, what are people saying about you when you're not in the room? And what does that all really translate to? To wrap it up in one word, it's your reputation. It's your values you have that resonate with your target audience. And it's about showcasing the authentic you while building trust and credibility in the process. So one crucial aspect of personal branding is finding and expressing your unique voice. Your voice is what sets you apart from others and allows you to connect with your audience on a deeper level. There are most certainly many others doing what you do in your industry, but it is absolutely impossible for them to offer it in the same way that you do. We know this, right? There are so many other marketing podcasts out there. I'm hoping you listen to them, right? There's going to be different information. The style is different. I'm also really thrilled that you're here, but you know, there's no way that, you know, uh, like Gary V's podcast is going to sound like mine. Not at all. Our personal branding is so different. Maybe we talk about the similar um, subject, maybe, you know, talking about marketing, maybe we're talking about chat GPT, maybe we're talking about creating content, but we're gonna do it in our own unique ways. So take some time to reflect on what makes you unique and how you can infuse that into your personal brand. What sets you apart from, you know, others in your industry? One thing that could help you do this is speak to the people who you love and trust and ask them how would they describe you? And even better, if you can speak to your loyal customers or clients and gauge what words they would use to describe you or what comes to mind when they think of you, and then start to feel if that feels in alignment with how you want to be viewed socially and how you want your brand to appear. So that's a good little exercise that I certainly encourage you to do. Now let's talk about aligning your personal brand with your values. 
Your values act as a guiding compass for your brand. It shapes the identity and your purpose. So when your personal brand reflects your values, it's going to come across more authentic and resonate with your audience at a deeper level. They're going to see that. They're going to feel that. So take a moment to identify what your core values are and consider how you can incorporate that into your brand messaging. So into your content, into your web copy, into your captions, all of that. So for example, values could be something like accountability, integrity, social responsibility, just to name a few. These are three that certainly align with how I would like my personal brand to come across. I think it's important to be transparent and that ties into the social responsibility, the accountability, uh, especially if you've heard some of my episodes before, you know how much I am like all for accountability and owning it, as well as integrity. I don't wanna create content that's the clickbait. I'm not gonna come out here and say, here's how to get 10,000 followers. That's not, you know, at the root of core of what I wanna represent as a personal brand. I wanna come fully transparent in supportive ways and hopefully in a way that makes you feel connected and trusted and like you're talking to a friend. And I will say, I have seen some of the reviews that have come in for the podcast and more than once, The feedback has been, it feels like you're talking with your best friend. And I can't tell you how great that makes me feel because that's how I want you to feel. I want you to feel like you're comfortable. You're not on the spotlight. You can gain value. There's no wrong answers. And so it's really resonating when people feel that way. So how are you getting your audience to feel that way about your brand? So a powerful way to communicate your personal brand is through storytelling. Stories have a great way of capturing our audience's attention and creating that connection, right? We want to be able to bring our personal experience through story and then it's conversational. It actually feels like less pressure to connect with our audience when we can craft and share stories that relate to our own personal journey, our experiences, and the values that drive us. So remember, your brand story should reflect your unique voice. I think you'd be surprised how much you can probably connect a lot of your own personal stories, your journey, and your experiences in a way that can support and connect with your audience. If you tuned into one of my old episodes, episode 21, I shared a story about my son and how he wasn't eating the wraps that I was making for him. And I'm like, what? Like, it's it's what you love. It's the cheese and the ham. And he was asking if we could do the subway days at school. And I'm like, no, those days, like they're $8 for bread and ham and cheese. Like that's all he puts on it. So I'm like, I can make that for you. And then one day I did, and I wrote Subway on the the sandwich that I put in his lunch, and he loved it. And I shared that story with my audience on the podcast as well as on Instagram. And oh my gosh, I got such great feedback. The DMs that were coming through was really awesome. It totally made my day because I connected it about, you know, how can we wrap things up or change things, you know, change our offers in a different way in order to, you know, resonate with our audience. In that example, my son was the air quotes audience and I just had to kind of flip the switch. So I was able to tie that into marketing, which is the industry that I'm in. And I'm sure you have stories and moments like that, that you can share with your audience. Isn't it amazing when you can read an article or you see a post or you watch a reel and you think, oh my gosh, that's me. I do that. Or I've been there or I know exactly how that feels. That is storytelling. And it's so crucial in building that trust factor with your audience, especially if it's their first introduction or they're just starting to get to know you. So how do we build an authentic online presence? So in today's age, you know, your online presence does play a crucial role in shaping your personal brand. We have all of these tools. We have our website, we have our LinkedIn pages, we have our Facebook pages, Instagram, all the social platforms. So that's all opportunity to reflect your unique voice and your values consistently. So when you can engage with your audience authentically, providing valuable content that aligns with your brand, you're also going to attract the audience that you really will want to serve. And that's why it's like when that that phrase of, oh, you're speaking my language, that's what that means. So don't be afraid to showcase your expertise and share your knowledge with your audience. You do want to position yourself as the authority in your field, and that's going to help strengthen your personal brand and build trust with your audience. But remember to keep it authentic. 
stay true to yourself, maintain that consistent communication, the more your audience can understand and, you know, what to expect from you, that's going to help build that connection. So being consistently showing up authentically you is important. I'll give an example. Like, If you've been tuning into this podcast for a while, you've obviously gotten to know me a little bit better. You probably understand a little bit of my style more. But what if next week you tune into the episode and I start it? Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Creative Marketing Show. I'm your host, Angela Doyon. In today's episode, like you're going to be like, what? Who the hell's that? That's not the Ange that I came to listen to. Maybe you like to listen to me because I'll drop an F-bomb here and there. Or I laugh at my own jokes because it's literally me in front of my microphone and I'm solo with my hands flailing because I talk with my hands, right? So that would be such a disconnect. That would not be in alignment with my personal brand. So when I say consistency, it's not about like showing up every day and putting three things out there every day. It's just more of like, Every time you come up to the table, it's you. You're in alignment with your values and your personal brand is clearly reflected and you're not throwing anybody for a loop. So that wraps up today's episode. I would love to hear what you think. If you haven't left me a rating or review on Apple Podcasts, it would mean the world to me to do that. It takes like two minutes. And if you're not on an Apple device, you can certainly, uh, I don't know, put it in your stories, what you think of the show, tag me or just send me a DM. Your feedback means the world to me. So I would love to hear about it. And if you have an idea for an upcoming episode, please share. What can I help you with? How can I support you? Otherwise, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I say I hope a lot. I'm realizing that as I say it, but I'm not going to cut that out because we're already at the end. Thank you so much, everybody. And we can connect on Instagram at Angela.S.Doyon. Enjoy the rest of your day.